There's a new movie out that you can watch this weekend at the Pearl Ridge Consolidated Theaters. The Paper Tigers gets the film industry one step closer to having proper Asian representation. It's also funny, dramatic, and action packed. Check it out. One, two, three. Dad. Yeah, buddy. Do you know any kung fu? I'm retired. All right, this is exciting stuff. This is probably the first time I have set foot in a theater in well over a year, and I'm sure many of you watching haven't been to the movies. I'm going to take a wild guess and say also over a year. Here to talk about the Paper Tigers, I've got actor Ron Yuan, director Bao Tran, and we've also got producer Yuji Okamoto. Thank you guys for joining us. About, tell us about the storyline. Well, the story about the Paper Tigers is about three aging and out of shape kung fu fighters. Uh, who've gone their separate ways for many different reasons, but they find out that their master is killed, and now they have to uh, find out what happened and avenge their master. Who was the old guy? That was her teacher. We called him Sifu. You didn't hear. Bao, we got to talk about this. This is a movie ten years in the making. You must feel relieved and also so proud. All of the above. You know, we thought we could pitch this to studios, but uh, they wanted to change our cast to mainly white, and Ron doesn't look white to you, so uh, we wanted our characters to be POC and Asian American, Black American, to reflect our experience and our stories, and so we decided to make our own ways, and because of that, it did take longer, but uh, we made it uh, on our terms. Can I just say it in English? Just, just, say it just in do it in English, English, man. We have Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese, Filipino uh, people, just and, and black and white, just all working together and, and, and on one journey, one mission. And I think we all knew how special it was from day one. All will be revealed. Did you hear me? No, it's just a glance, just a glance, it's man. Fine. You it's got fine. this, you got this. It's fine. <laughs> just to have Asian representation in media, in the arts specifically, is so needed. It all comes down to visibility. And for us, we've been kind of that silent minority, you know, always do the right thing, always stay quiet, always do this and that. So for us to, to be able to step out of that and really kind of honor who we are, I think it's really important. So the more support we can get, the better off we are as, you know, a minority altogether. So it's, it takes a village. So important. Uh, with that being said, we need all of our viewers to come out and support so that this film does really, really well in theaters. Come check it out this weekend here at the Pearl Ridge Mall Consolidated Theaters. Again, COVID protocols are in place. Just wear your mask and seats are socially distanced. Now, there are several showtimes, both Saturday and Sunday. You can go to consolidatedtheaters.com for tickets. By the way, if Yuji looks familiar, that's because he was in Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. Love both. I love the movie, <laughs> and I love the series on Netflix. I have to say, when the director said that, um, I guess the higher-ups wanted to make it a mostly white Caucasian cast, mm -hmm. I wasn't surprised. Disappointed yeah, though, and I'm glad to see that they stuck to their guns. This was an independent film that he had envisioned over a decade ago. Yeah, and that's why it took so long because they wanted to do it their way and have proper Asian representation, minority representation, and that's what they did. And we also need viewers to go out and watch yes. because that goes to show that that's what people want to see on the big screen. Oh, Lauren, really quick, I loved when the one guy at the far end he made that face like, does he look like? <laughs> I don't look like how yeah, that was wrong. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, this movie looks like it's really funny. Yeah. So I gotta check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing that.